Hey everybody, Steven here, and welcome to my Ragnarok Online Startout Guide. This is for players who have never played on IRO before, and due to server closures or uh, switching games, uh, has decided to start playing on IRO. Um, and then also included in this guide is going to be a uh, bookmark list for uh, useful websites that you'll be able to download and import to your uh, web browser, uh, specifically Google Chrome. So basically you're going to want to start out the game by going to playragnarok.com and you're going to hit register. And basically it's going to bring up this page. Um, I'm already logged in so let's log out. It's going to bring up this page with your email address and password and basically you log in there. Um, if you are not registered, of course, you click register now, and you're gonna hit. You're gonna put your email address. Uh, if you don't have an email address that you want to use, just make a quick one on Google Chrome. Once you put in all your information and uh, done the captcha, all you do is head over to your inbox, and there'll be a validation email that looks something like this. And then you click here to validate your email, and this link for me doesn't work because I validated it a long time ago but from here um, it will basically confirm you and then you just go ahead and click login and I will log in right now so once you log in you'll be at a screen that looks a little bit like this to start playing the game you're going to want to go to account information as you can see I have three Ragnarok online accounts created and in order to do that all you have to do is click add new game account uh, you can select from any of what Portal's games, Ragnarok 2, Ragnarok, uh, Requiem, Rose, and Dragon Saga. And to uh, pay for your account and other things like that, like uh, VIP, basically, which increases your... There's a whole bunch of features, basically. It's hard to explain right now, but um, if you ever want to get VIP or anything or make buy Kafra items, there's the ultimate game cards, uh, go cash, credit card. You can use all these methods to buy your warp portal energies. If you want to actually become VIP, uh, do not convert your warp portal to Kaffir points because it won't work. What you want to do is hit the plus sign next to the account that you wish to, uh, to make VIP. Click up here, the VIP package. And this one gives you 30 days of VIP plus 1,500 points. And then these are the other plans. And then there's other value-added services like name changes, gender changes, or account changes that you can do through this uh, interface here. And that's pretty much it for this. There's other methods of getting warp portal energy um, I can explain. There's these tabs here. You can redeem a game card which you can buy a code from players in game or something like that and then redeem the code online here you can watch videos which are advertisements and then there's the surveys you can take online surveys that are generally free and they will earn you points and there's just stuff like that now this is the part where uh, we will discuss bookmarks for the game if you are using Google Chrome and you have no bookmarks, you can just click import bookmarks here. Oh wait, I have, um, and then if you are unfamiliar with that, you can just go to right click here, go to bookmark manager, organize, import bookmarks. So if you go in the description, there's a link and the link goes to this file dropper basically what you do is you download this file you type in what is this one 5bb7 download the file robookmarks.html and you can right click this show in the folder and then let's uh, cut this close that out paste it on our desktop and yeah, move and replace. Then you uh, do the process that I, I talked about before where we're going to go to Bookmark Manager, 
organize, import, RO bookmarks, and you'll see there's an imported folder. Let's delete this one. So we're going to go click on the imported folder, and you see I have the Ragnarok Online main web page, which we started out on. This, you can see the latest news, like for example, the October box, and they have all the items that are in it and what the items do. Um, there's also spotlight events, and this is a jumpstart event. Spotlight events highlight areas of the game and give monsters bonus drops and better experience. Then there's the uh, certain jumpstart events. This one from level 1 to 60, the amount of experience has been cut in half. So you can keep track of game updates here. And you can also um, rename this Ragnarok or something, whatever you want your bookmarks to be. So then the second one is the Warp Portal forums. These are really useful for starting out players, especially the new player strategies. And because uh, they have all the, all the guides and there's a lot of guides and useful things there. And then if you're having trouble installing the game, say you use like Windows 8 or something, you can go techn technical support and you can get some help here. As well as uh, there's classes and the class guides. So if you're having trouble starting out, let's see if there's help a newbie GX. This guy has a post here and then he can get some help from people. So if you need help, go there. Let's see, and then we'll go moving right along, go to IRO Wiki. This is useful for um, like class guides. So say you want to learn about mechanics, you can go here and go builds or something, and you can learn about the builds, you can learn about good gear, and then there's a skill description, and you can learn about how all the skills work. And then it's also useful for quest guides, like, uh, let's see, there's a quests here, a quest tab, and there's a, the god items quest and all these localized quests. So if you need help figuring those out, this is a good place to go. Next is the IRO Wiki database. If you want to learn about Fabres, you can go, this is all the information, you can do your monster search. Uh, what's it called? Uh, not, there it is, not Seeger. And, you know, basically learn about the monsters or how their uh, HP looks on IRO, what their attacks are like on IRO, where they're located. All that information is here. You can also do a weapon search. Um, got the orc archer's bow, you know. Basically look up and see what items do. Gear search, same thing. You can put on limitations. For example, if you want it to be a armor card usable by uh, archbishop or archer, why not do archer? So it'll show you all the items that can be worn by archer class that's in armor, and it'll filter out all the other ones. So this is a very useful tool. Uh, there's some other things like the um, dungeon maps and other tools, stack, um, server status, this is a useful one to see if servers are down <laughs> or anything. Um, character servers, looks like the login server might be down. Check classic, login, down. And then let's move to the next bookmark. The next two are essentially the same thing. You have Rageal, where you can search for items like, um, for example, Yig, Yig Seeds. You type in Yig, it brings up all, all the Yig items, and you can go here and it'll show you where the vendors are selling them. The, same, the next bookmark is Ragnastats. It also does the uh, essentially the same thing. You have your item here and you just basically search for items and you can view items recently sold so those are basically the same. Next there is the 
skill simulator where you can it doesn't matter if you're playing on the classic server or the renewal server basically it's all the same you can click on say shadow chaser and you can fill out your whatever stats you can tweak around with builds and it keeps track of all the points you spent so this is a good website for skill simulating the next one is the renewal stat calculator it's hosted by IRO wiki and basically you can go ahead and say you want to calc a wanderer you can select the trans one and it has basically all the gears the equipment that are available in the game show that right now cat ear beret but that's a pretty new gear lots of people are still using it like and then you can for what gear isn't there it gives you this functionality here to add basically effects that aren't available in the upper area there's a you can calculate with buffs on with magic strings you can add temporary bonuses and then you can add a whole bunch of foods and attack speed and then of course the combat the monster combat I tend to use this mostly for just calculating the stats because a lot of times the renewal formulas don't really turn out exact uh, damage wise on the monsters then the next is the Ragnarok Online player database. If you want to search players, you can look and find the players and then click their alts and you can find all their alts. So, and it also, um, if the player has their equipment open, there's an equipment button up here that will display equipment. So say you want to do, let's go back to the main page and you want to search for big crossbow and then you hit search and it shows all the players that are using big crossbow and if you have the equipment thing checked it'll show what all their equipments are so if you're curious what people with big crossbows are using you can kinda see how people are using it the next link is the castle status so if you are interested in woe it has the renewal woe castle status there's a timeline it shows you when all the castles have broken uh, how long Econs have been held and stuff like that. There's the for WoW 1st edition, WoW 2nd edition, and then it also has the Classic Server and the Classic 2 2.0. So uh, this is a good if you're interested in WoW. Then of course Ragnarok Online Facebook. This is tends to have a lot of people who are on IRO or not on IRO but also private servers too so if you want a more specific one check out the warp portal Facebook and this last link I wasn't really sure I wanted to have as many links as I could so this one is for PlaySpan this is one of the um, microtransaction or payment methods for uh, paying for VIP or warp portal energies and stuff like that um, and sometimes there's events like let's go over here sometimes there's ultimate game card events that give you bonus points if you convert from an ultimate game card so that does it for the bookmarks uh, if you have any questions of course um, leave a message in the comments or if this is posted on forums yeah go ahead and leave comments on the forums and try and get your questions answered other than that, that's been the part one guide for how to start Ragnarok. This is all the technical stuff. The in-game stuff will be in part two, where we go through creating a novice and go through uh, basically starting out places to go. Uh, but if you enjoyed this guide, stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you next time.